counting with counters overview so in this particular type of design pattern we'll be using one utility known as the counter which will be calculating the global sum on the map side and this particular design pattern in this implementation will be having only the mapper tasks and there will be no reducer task so let us go for more discussion on it so counting with counters these patterns use a utility called counters of the map reduce framework so there is one utility known as the counters that will be used in this design pattern so using this utility the framework can generate a global sum on the map side so in the mapper side the global sum will be obtained it is a very efficient process to get the sum of a large data set so ordinary sum algorithms cannot work here because here we are dealing with the big data so the data set is huge so that's why to calculate the sum we are supposed to use this respective method so as an example we can say that if someone wants to track the login by his employee to his heavily used public website he can create this type of counting pattern to do it a very efficient way so how many employees have got logged or what is the current logging pattern on a heavily used system if the website owner wants to get that information they can go for this implementation this job is a map job only so it is having only the map job and no reducer will be used in this case and the mapper processes each input records and increments the counter value with certain criteria so mapper will take the key values and for the similar key values it will just go on increasing the counters accordingly so counters of different mapper count the value and send the updates to the task tracker here we are not having any reducer but here we are having task tracker and then we'll be having the job tracker also then the task tracker send the progress update to the job tracker and job tracker will produce the final output so let us show and discuss it with one proper diagram so this is the diagram we are having so here we are having the counting mapper so here we are having the mapper tasks and then we are having this increment counter d increment counter b in this way the mappers will produce the required outputs and that will be made available to the task tracker so here we are having the task trackers and then it is going to the job tracker and job tracker will produce the required outputs that is counted a b c d in this way and the job will have the success to have a better idea please uh, watch the next videos where you will be discussing on this topic into more details thanks for watching this